everybody and welcome back to show girly swag today i am very excited to bring this video to you i am somebody who has struggled with their skin for many 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 years i have oily which has now turned into i think i have kind of more dry skin some days and very oily skin some days just with age things have changed um i'm acne prone sensitive skin oftentimes like what i eat makes me break out like avocado i'm starting to put together that when i eat avocado the next day or a couple days later my skin does this strange rash of a breakout so i don't know i'm gonna keep testing that but i love avocado i don't want to give it up you gotta do what you have to do though right your body talks to you what you put in is what you're going to get out it is very important to have a skincare regimen, something that works for your skin. So I'm gonna share what works for me and hope that, you know, maybe it'll help inspire you to try new things or possibly add some more things to your, <laughs> your list of things that you have to do to your face in the morning and then at night. I highly recommend, you know, you moisturize your face. Moisturizing your face is, is very important even if you have oily skin, especially if you have oily skin. Oily skin people produce oil, okay? And if you don't hydrate your skin, your skin is going to work harder to try to hydrate. So it's going to produce more oil, more sebum, then your skin's going to break out. So you need to learn how to, or figure out and learn how to counter that. Um, so. Today, I'm going to share with you what works for me. So if you'd like to see what I use in the morning and at night, please keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna basically, this is what I have for us today. Woohoo! Yes, this is a lot, but I alternate. I change things up so that my skin doesn't get completely used to products that I use. There are some staples in my skincare that I always use that never change, but I need, me personally, I have to I have to switch things out. And I've also learned that, for instance, if I start a new toner that has a lot of acids, or if I start a Retin-A, in the past I've wanted to just, you know, go, go hard, you know, do it every day and, you know, like clockwork. And that actually had a negative reaction on my skin because my skin was like, what the hell are you doing? And it would freak out. So when I try new products, I try it, especially like acids, things like that. And then I give my skin a couple of days to rest, adjust, and then I'll do it again. And then from there, I'll see if it actually really works for me. So with that said, I'm going to start from start to finish. So in the morning, let me back it up. I follow this amazing dermatologist. Her name is Dr. Dre, like the you know musical genius, Dr. Dre. <laughs> but hers is Dr. and then it's D-R-A-Y. She's a dermatologist on YouTube, or she's a dermatologist and she has a YouTube channel. She's incredible. I have learned so much from this woman. Thank you so much, Dr. Dre. I'm going to um, link her information down in the you know box below so you can go and check out her channel. Okay, so I wanna talk really quickly about supplements that I have taken. One of them is a little controversial, I guess. Um, I decided to take the risk myself because my skin, for whatever reason, I was having crazy breakouts. I mean. It was like behind my ears, down my chest, down my neck, all over my forehead. I mean, it was this strange rash and I, I don't know if it was like a fungus or, or what the hell, because you know, I do teach, I do go all over the world and I'm all over different people's, you know, studio floors or I'm in, on stage, backstage and you know, it. who, who knows, who knows, right? I could have touched my, my, my skin somehow. Anyways, so. After doing research, you should, you know, of course, take a multivitamin, take B vitamins, a B complex is, is really good for you. Um, you know, your vitamin D, you know, all of the, all, you know, fish oils, all of the normal stuff, right? 
So I found a YouTube, um, a YouTuber. I cannot remember her name. If I can find the video, I'm going to link it down below. Um, she recommended using zinc, a high potency zinc supplement. Um, so this is the product. It's by now it's zinc picolinate 50 mg and um yeah this plus vitamin a vitamin a is a retinol i am going to insert descriptions and definitions of what each product is and i have a hard time retaining the information i know what they do but i have a hard time retaining it and spitting it out so if i had a computer up i could read it but i don't so this vitamin a is twenty five thousand iu um i feel that these two products right here cleared that crazy acne fungus whatever it was up now vitamin a it it does say that there could be like um hair thinning now the vitamin a product does come with some precautions one of them was like thinning hair. After using it for about four months, maybe six here and there, I was using this product zinc basically every day, the zinc capsules. And the vitamin A was like every other day or every two days. Um, I do feel like it did thin my hair out, especially like right here. Um, so <laughs> I know I hate, I hate, to recommend something that could possibly do that, but it didn't thin it out to the point where, you know, obviously I went bald or anything like that. I just noticed that my hair just didn't seem as thick. So I think that if we counter that with maybe, you know, some other supplements that help hair growth, maybe, you know, that wouldn't happen. I didn't do that, so I can't, I can't attest to that. That's just me thinking, okay? Thinking out loud. I am not a dermatologist. I just have done a ton of research and a lot of studying on my own. Okay, so let's jump right into this. When I wash my face in the morning when I wake up, these days, as per Dr. Dre, she recommended that when you wake up, you don't really need to go in with a cleanser. You are interrupting the um, skin barrier. You, when you wake up, your skin should be already cleaned. The night before, you should have moisturized and done all of your due, dil due diligence. But, so in the morning, I really have just been washing my face with water and then applying my moisturizer. I have not been cleansing and my skin feels great. It feels great. So, you do not have to cleanse your face. But, if you feel like you want to, a very gentle cleanser that does not strip my oils away is this product right here. It's the CeraVe, what is this? CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for Normal to Dry Skin. Yes, I have oily skin, but this works for me. It cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore the protective skin barrier. That's the barrier that I was talking about. With three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. This, this product, it feels so strange. It feels like I'm putting a moisturizer on my face to cleanse my face, but I will tell you, it feels so moisturizing. I love it. So if you, I would say if you're going to go, if you, if you feel the need to cleanse your skin in the morning, use something hydrating like this. Okay. Um, I will use this product. I alternate. I don't use this product to take my makeup off. Let's talk about that real quick. If I have a lot of makeup on my skin, yes, I'll use a cleansing balm, right? Or I will use, you know, some makeup wipes to remove. I'm trying not to use makeup wipes because I'm trying to save, you know, the environment and they're a huge problem. So I will go and I will first, if I don't use those two products, those two things, I will use Pure Castile Soap and it's uh, Dr. Bronner's. Okay, this is the mild, uh, what is this? The mild baby, where is the name? Yep, it's the um, eight and one, 18 and one, hemp baby unscented, pure castile soap, castile castile soap. All right, this stuff is amazing. It 
it does it it does make my skin feel tight you know and kind of you know it really strips away everything so if you want something gentle i highly 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 recommend any of really any of the dr bronner's this one i just i i like it's mild there's no scent or anything and it just does the job for me my skincare these days is basically pretty simple it it doesn't i don't have to spend a ton of money you don't have to spend a ton of money to have good skin and you just need products that will do the job and will take care of your skin now dr dre this is going to be like a dr dre video <laughs> dr dre pushes the product cerave and for a while i was like mm -mm, i'm not using cerave it's boring it doesn't smell good it reminds me of like when i was a kid you know it's just not fancy you know but i got to the point where i was just willing to try anything to fix my skin so i decided to give her the products a shot and i am so 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 happy that i did i am now all into cerave 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 whatever it may be so let's go and let's talk about acne now cerave makes a product um, it's the renewing sa cleanser for normal skin um, it's it has ceramides and salicylic acid I believe the, what was it? I think it was 10% salicylic acid from what I remember. Um, you can look online. It doesn't say it on the actual bottle itself, but it, I have Googled it and it's, it's, it's there for you online. I'll, I'll Google it and I'll, I'll make sure that I put it down below. This stuff is awesome. Um, when you're, if you're going to use salicylic acid, a cleanser, um, like that. A lot of people have said, use something that will exfoliate your face, you know, in the morning. Now, this goes completely <laughs> against what I just said about not washing your face. But if you're having breakouts and you, you know, you need to take care of your skin. I find that when I'm having breakouts, I will, re I'll change things up and I'll use this in the morning. And then I will use these two products in the evening okay so I, I hope that that doesn't confuse you but again you have to adjust your skincare according to what your skin is doing is talking to you okay um, I again I love 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 so once I wash my face you want to put moisturizer onto your face when your skin is damp when your skin even if it's still like you've washed your face and whatever's left over on just sort of like let it let it just drip down a little, let it drip down. <laughs> and from there, you wanna go in with moisturizer on a damp face. Your skin barrier is open and ready to suck in all of the, the goodness, okay? When it's, when it's dry, your skin barrier is not open, it's, it's not going to absorb like it would when your skin is wet. Dr. Dre has videos on that, she will explain more. Check her out, check her out. In the morning or at night, I use these two products. Okay, you should use SPF on your face every single day, especially if you're, you're, you know, you're going outside. I don't care if you're just gonna walk outside for a little bit, you should use an SPF. This has an SPF of 30, it's, it's really good. I don't find that this leaves a white cast over my face when I first put it on sure you know it's not completely soaked into my skin um, so it's gonna look a little white but then you know once I rub it all the way down my neck chest I even take it down to my shoulders this is not it, it soaks into my skin and it does not leave a white cast on me and I have like you know olive skin uh, I don't mind it now if I'm if I sometimes I don't really walk outside until the evening because my job is an evening job. You know, I go and I teach in the evenings or I go dance or whatever. Um, so sometimes I won't use SPF. It's only if I'm gonna walk outside and it's sunny. And I will only use this morning and night. In the evening, I prefer to put on heavier, thicker moisturizers, oils, you know, I like rosehip oil. Um, things like that, serums. So so what I'll do is I will basically use this as a carrier. And instead of, you know, first putting on 
moisturizer, then putting on the oil on top. I, I personally, I mix the product and then I pat it into my skin. So the, the oils that I like to use to mix in with my moisturizer in the evening are the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Oil. I also like to use this, I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's, uh, oof, it's, <laughs> it's juicy right now. <laughs> uh, Caprice, Caprice Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum. I received this in BoxyCharm. Uh, I love it. Really, really, really love it. You can use it on, on its, you know, on its own and it, it's so moisturizing, but I really, really like it when I mix the two. So I'll first, I'll put a couple pumps on the top of my hand and then this product here, I'll show you on the top on my hand. It's, it's like a very creamy white um, serum and it just, it's really nice and light. It feels really good. And so when I mix it in with my moisturizer, it's, it just, it, it feels, it's awesome. It's so moisturizing and it, I always feel so dewy and, and plump. Um, that apply, that, that does apply to the rosehip oil. Now the rosehip oil, um, it, it feel, it definitely feels heavier when I mix it in with the, um, moisturizer, but when I wake up in the morning after using rosehip oil, my skin just looks so good. I, I love the way my skin looks. So I alternate between these two, these two products here, or these three, these two oils and the serum and oil and this moisturizer. All right, moving on. All right, I guess I kind of, I kind of messed up here. I should have talked about the acids that I'll use on my face, like toner acids. Um, the toners that I like, first off, this Pixie, oh, <laughs> Pixie Skin Treats. It's a retinol tonic, retinol and jasmine flower advanced youth, youth preserving toner. So it says the multi-action treatment with time release retinol also replenishes skin with potent antioxidants used daily after cleansing. So once you've cleansed your face, you'd wanna go in with your toners and tonics, acidic things as well, okay? So I like using this product and this Ole Henriksen Transform Glow 2 OH, or it's dark spot toner, and it has a high potency of um, AHAs, and I believe it's glycolic and, and lactic acid. I, I do like this, um, this stuff. Both of these products are my go-tos. I never really have a problem. This one I'll use every two days every other day because it is strong and I do feel some like tingling on my skin. This one I can use every day. I mean, I'm almost out um, and I will repurchase both of these. Okay, so once you use those toners and you know products like that, like those two things, then you'd go in with your moisturizers or your serums. If you'd like to do your serums, put your serums on. Um, and then, you know, a serum that I like is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. This is, it's a 2% plus B5, a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. So once you moisturize, oh, I'm sorry, once you wash your face, you tone it, right? You would go in with your serums. The hyaluronic acid is like, it's a humectant and it adds moisture to your skin. I don't think that this penetrates very deep. I think that's what I've learned, um, but it does add a lot of moisture to your skin and it plumps it up and it makes it feel really nice. Then from there you go in with your moisturizers and your oils and the heavier products. A serum that I actually forgot to mention, I'm new to this YouTube thing. <laughs> a serum that I forgot to mention, this Derma E right uh, here. This is a serum, it's a vitamin C concentrated serum. It also has hyaluronic acid in it. 
And this concentrated serum may help support collagen health, minimizing the look of fine lines and wrinkles while improving the appearance of uneven skin tone. I do think this, this product helped my skin a lot. So this product, ooh, my cat scared me. <laughs> this product I'll use after I've washed my face. You can use it, I would use this product in the morning. A vitamin C from the research that I've done a vitamin C serum should be used in the in the AM versus the PM. Another moisturizer that I really like, that is a Korean um, a Korean brand, is by Cause RX. It's Honey Ceramide Full Moisture Cream. This is very thick, and when my skin is feeling dry or it's just feeling, I don't know, not good. I'll go in with something thick like this and it, it really does help. Honey is re also really good for people with acne. Okay, if you'd like to exfoliate your face, exfoliation is very, very important when it comes to your skincare. I exfoliate my skin, I don't know, it just depends. For me, for the most part, I, ex I exfoliate my skin in the evening. I feel like when I do that, everything slosh off all that skin and then I have skin you know new skin um, I can apply the products and I feel like it gets in gets in there I really love this scrub it's by hey honey it's called come clean it's propolis and mineral facial scrub propolis and vitamin C enriched exfoliant I don't know this is just a small little sample but a friend gave this to me I've tried these honey products, Hey Honey products before, and always love them, always, always. They have amazing products. And again, Propolis is um, like a honey, it's part of the whole like honey honey family, it's, it is honey. Um, obviously, it's called Hey Honey. <laughs> but um, this is pretty cool. I highly recommend this product. You actually use this when your skin is dry. Put it on. It has these very fine granules. It doesn't hurt your skin. And you know, then you wet your face and you continue to you know, massage the product in and wash it off. When you're done, your skin feels so hydrated because of the honey and whatever else they have in here. So, Hey Honey products, two thumbs up, two thumbs up, love them. Okay, another exfoliant that I'd received in BoxyCharm is this skin and company. Um, it's called Truffle Therapy, Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle Face Gommage. I believe that's what it, how, how to say it, face gommage, made in Italy. So I feel always feel so fancy when I use this product. <laughs> um, I don't know if I would purchase it again, but I am enjoying it. Some products you like, but you're not like, wow this is just amazing like this hey honey i will i'm definitely going to buy a bigger version of this this feels good it's nice it's good i got it in my boxy charm i like it cool you know um it didn't do wonders for my skin not saying that it won't do it for your skin but for me personally i may or may not repurchase Okay, uh, salicylic acid, is an, it, it exfoliates your skin. So it's an acid. It's good to exfoliate your skin in the morning if you're having an acne breakout or and using this product is great. Then from there, I would go in with my serum and moisturizer. The, uh, if I'm going out into the sun, here or here. I know this one says PM, but I like the consistency and the thickness of it. I will use it in the AM and the PM. I have oily skin again, and this works for me. It's, it's not too much, it's not too heavy. So yes, these are all of the products that I use. I do not use every single product every morning and every night. Again, I alternate. I listen to my, my skin, I see what's going on, and go from there. It's like a guessing game, but you know, the more that the older that you get, the more that you start to understand what your skin is doing. So I truly hope that this video was beneficial. I hope that you've learned something and at least one thing. I always say that in my videos um, because 
not everything you may you know know a lot you know about skincare products etc but for me i love watching youtube videos i love watching and learning thank you for watching as usual i hope that you're all doing well and staying safe I know that this is a crazy time in our life, but all we can do is stay positive and just follow precautions to keep those around you and everyone else safe. That's all I've got. I'm going to sign off for now and I will see you soon.